Hello, I am Dr. Sahana KP. I am a consultant obstetrician, gynecologist, also a laparoscopic surgeon and infertility specialist. I am uh, currently practicing at uh, Vipra Women's Health Clinic in Basishanagar, Bangalore. Amniocentesis is a simple prenatal test. This is done whenever we need to obtain a small amount of fluid around the baby that is called the amniotic fluid and that is taken and then sent for testing. Now this test is a simple outpatient procedure. It is not done routinely. It is done only for cases where we expect some problems with the baby in order to get a more definitive diagnosis. So in this procedure the patient is asked to lie down comfortably on the couch. On under ultrasound guidance, a small pool of lica is isolated and a simple hollow straight needle is inserted and amount of amniotic fluid is taken. The small amount that is collected is then test sent to the lab for analysis and testing. So this is the procedure for amniocentesis. So though amniocentesis is a simple procedure, it does not come without any risks. It is not therefore done routinely. Some small amount of risk is always there to the mother and the baby because it is an invasive test. Now considering the baby, there could be small amount of injury to some parts of the baby and there is a small uh, chance of miscarriage of about 1% or sometimes even less than 1%. But this will be explained to the mother before undergoing the test. And other than that, they can have some risk to the mother because there will be some injury to the uterus and they may have some amount of cramps and pain. Very rarely or occasionally, it can land up with preterm labor. CVS is basically chorionic villus sampling. This is a test similar to the amniocentesis and the same principle of obtaining fetal cells are followed here. However, in this we obtain cells from the placenta that is the chorionic villi. And this is done much earlier in gestation as early as 9 to 10 weeks. This also helps in diagnosis of fetal anomalies and genetic syndromes like Down syndrome or Tay-Sachs disease or sickle cell anemia, all these can be picked up very early. And the only problem with this test is there is a small risk of causing limb anomalies to the baby and this will be explained prior to doing the test. 